American Redoubt Radio Operators Network and is a nationwide disaster preparedness network made up of patriot-oriented radio operators. I always try to make sure that all my equipment powers off of 12 volt power supplies because that's the, that's the standard for emergency communications. And uh, I want to have lots of different options with me. And I mentioned that I like to go to the thrift store and pick these little wall warts up that people discard. They have a piece of equipment that doesn't work anymore and so they'll, they'll donate it and uh, or they'll just have a junk drawer full of these and they just, they just donate them to the thrift store. But this 12 volt connector is used on so many different things so what I do is I go ahead and I just cut the uh, the wall ward off and throw it away now I'm gonna wire this up so that I can use so that I can use a uh, uh, put an Anderson connector on it Because this is a thin wire, I like to leave myself a little bit more and then fold it over. Makes it a little bit thicker. And then you're going to insert this and crimp it. Now with, you'll notice that with all black wire, you want to be careful which one's going to be red and which one's going to be black. The black here does not have a stripe on it. You'll, the red, what's going to go to the red, see has a, has a white stripe down the side of the, uh, the cable. That white stripe right there is going to be your red. So you want to make sure that the all black goes to your black and the one with the white stripe on it goes to your white or your red. But that doesn't really matter right now because all you're doing is putting your metal connectors on. So the color coding doesn't matter. You want to crimp it for sure. And then some people, they like to, uh, they say you don't have to uh, solder these, but I do. Okay, you want to crimp that on there really good. Put the other one on. And you want to crimp that one really good as well. So people say you don't have to uh, solder these, but I do for a really good positive connection. Now we're going to solder it. just suck that solder right down in there. There's two. Now we're gonna put our connectors on. Okay, remember what I said, one of these has a white stripe on it, that'll be your red. The solid black, that will be your black uh, plastic connector. So the solid red, or the solid uh, black is uh, going to get your black connector. And these snap in just like this. You hear a distinct little snap when it snaps in in place. You want to make sure that this goes down with see the uh, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Let that clear up. All right. You'll see that there's a kind of like a, a, a downward. See the shape of that? Okay, that's what's going to snap that, that little uh, uh, hook 
on the end that's going to snap onto that metal portion that little metal clip that's down inside of there you can see it down in there oops in the red okay that's going to snap in there so this is going to go uh, just like this it's going to go right into the back it's going to snap right over the top of this but since this is just a tiny little wire it doesn't really have the strength so we're going to push it in lined up right. They actually make crimping tools for this but they're about 45 bucks and I'm cheap. You hear that distinct snap? Okay now it's in there both of these uh, both of the clips are in there and now how to get these things together sorry for the blurriness let it focus. Okay now we've got blurriness going on here now you'll see on the end there's like a little arrow okay it's an A arrow remember this red right up so you want to turn these so the the red is on the right the arrow is pointed up red right up and then on the side you see how these are, are formed so they, there's actually like a groove it's like a tab and a slot on one side and the other. These actually just slide together just like this. And there's your Anderson connector all together. And then if you'd like, you can uh, put some uh, heat shrink on there or electrical tape, but th that'll hold up really well for you right there. Let's give it a try and make sure we did it right. So we have a cord connected to our battery. I'm gonna plug this in. take our little LED light strip right here and uh, we're gonna plug this in make sure it works ta-da success So ho hopefully, guys, uh, you found that useful, helpful, informative. Anderson Connectors uh, by PowerWorks, by the way, they did not pay for this, uh, this free advertising. But uh, these are amazing here. And uh, we're not being paid to promote them. I'm just telling you that this is a great product that I've found to be extremely useful. Uh, standardized along with uh, so many of the other uh, Amron operators and just uh, emergency communications radio operators. Um, in, in uh, various different organizations have gone over to these and there's so many different ways you can standardize you can power up lights you can power up speakers you can power up your radios uh, pretty much anything and this is why when you're looking for uh, products whether it's lighting or radios or speakers things like that you want to go with 12 volt that should be the standard 12 volt power and then that way with the 12 volt battery you can as you can see you standardize with Anderson connectors you can power everything up and uh, the chances are if you come across another uh, emergency communications radio operator his power system is going to be, be uh, set up standardized with Anderson connectors uh, he'll be able to plug right into your setup or you can plug right into his either way you're in business anyway I hope you found that to be helpful and useful this is John Jacob Schmidt with Amron God bless 73